How's it going guys? I'm here with the new comic book day haul for the week. Just picked up eight issues this week. First I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe number 14. This is continuing Karai's Path by uh, Eric Burnham and Sophie Campbell. And it has the second story by uh, Sophie Campbell as well. The art does feel different from uh, Campbell's uh, other stuff, I guess. And uh, the second story is, is always pretty cool. It's all her, so it is kind of a, her idea on the characters here. Then I have Youngblood number 5. Chad Bowers and Jim Toe. And I think this ends the arc. It might be a six issue arc, I'm not sure. It's been interesting. What is kind of uh, fun is that in the back you have a blood strike. And it's, of course, all by uh, Rob Liefeld. I don't remember if the story was cancelled or, I mean, if the book was cancelled and uh, he decided to pick it back up and throw it into uh, the back of uh, Young Blood, but <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting. I was enjoying uh, Blood Strike for what for what it was, you know. It was just a Liefeld crazy book. Here I have a pack list number four by Dustin Weaver. Four ninety nine book, and uh, still a pretty interesting anthology. Has a couple stories. They're not always the most interesting, but. But I'm still enjoying Packless. Here is a Fisher number three from Volt Comics. I'm not sure uh, if I still had this on my list. I guess uh, it still is. And I can't remember what happened in the uh, second issue. It's been a it's been a while. Oh yeah, they go down to the Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff is getting weird. Um, this is written by Tim Daniels, with art by Patricio Del Peach, Part Three, Episode Three. So uh, I'll continue picking it up if they keep putting it in my uh, pool, I guess. Uh, but it's not the uh, most amazing story. <laughs> There's Redland. Redlands issue two by Jordi Belair and Vanessa Del Rey. I was uh, pretty surprised by the first issue. It uh, throws you right into it, right into the action. And that worries me for issue two. Are we going to have a lot of buildup? Is this going to be a whole lot of backstory? Which is kind of my problems when they throw you right into the middle of the action without giving you an explanation. That will be, I guess, it'll be a make or break issue there. In case I'm not happy with all the backstory or I don't know. <laughs> Here I have a sync issue one. This is by Comic Stripes. I have no idea what this book is about. I put it on my previews because of the cover, I think. So, we'll see what it's about, right? Story by John Dees. Art and color by Lex Cormack. Rob Wiseguy was talking about this in his channel. He said uh, it was a pretty popular book, I guess. Uh, and uh, a lot of people were trying to get it. So eBay was charging the prices I guess I don't know <laughs> you know I'm just in it for reading so then I have Redcon issue one another book I have no idea what it's about I think it was just because of the art that I picked it up uh, Matt Nix writing with art by Toby Cypress is Matt Nix the guy from Ether can't remember now, is it? Anyways, I guess if it's the same writer, it might be an interesting story. Who knows? 
And finally, this is from Titan Comics. This is uh, Wolfenstein. Issue 1 of 2, I believe. It's a $5.99 book. $6 book. Uh, is this about the video game? I don't know why I keep picking up $6 books. <laughs> I guess I figure since uh, I have like 5 books in my hand, uh, one $6 book isn't going to hurt. But uh, sadly, it adds up and... And then I'm screwed. But this is written by uh, Dan Waters with art by Pietro Kowalski. Is that misspelled there? Piet Peter? And uh, Ronaldson Freer. I don't know. I think I like the art in the back of the book more. So I there's like I guess the story is divided somehow. But this is the art I flipped to, and uh, let's see, one that really sold me on the book. I don't know. I'll give it a read. It is only a, a two-issue series, so <clears throat> that's how uh, Titan does it, I guess. But anyways, uh, that was the haul for uh, this week. Thank you very much for watching.